Right, Taliota champs. Now, let me tell you a thing. The magical thing about these M1 Macs that probably no one has actually told you. I mean, there are a lot of great things about this Mac, but, you know, something really surprised me about this. And when I looked into it, it's like, wow, that is just nuts. So anyway, let's get into it. If we have a look here, we have a 240 hertz monitor, 1080p. We have it connected to this. We have a Thunderbolt hub here, Thunderbolt 4 hub connected to three hard drives, actually two hard drives here, two SSD hard drives and a Thunderbolt hard drive connected to the other Thunderbolt port. So USB 4, Thunderbolt, they don't even say three or four, but it is Thunderbolt 3. Let's just say all these connected to this and I've done a lot of testing and I'll talk about that in a sec, but no hiccups, right? We're talking like I was getting full speed on everything. Now this only has two Thunderbolt ports and you're thinking, well, why? How, how are you getting all this bandwidth for the display, this hub, all this connectivity and I'm testing these and I'm, you know, dumping files from each other and still no hiccups pretty much as fast as they are individually. How are you doing this, you know, between two Thunderbolt ports, which you would think would be really one connected to just one controller? And I'll just show you that we are connected. It's probably built in and it's not the same as normal Thunderbolt because we know that you can only have one display unless you do some sort of, you know, do a virtual display or whatever. So it's a bit weird, but let's dig into it. So if I go to my iMac, okay, my iMac, you're thinking, well, it has two Thunderbolt ports. Well, that's great, isn't it? But the reality is it only has one. Now, I'm going to say something that blew me away. I don't know if it's going to blow you away, but this has the same amount of bandwidth, the same amount of ports as the MacBook Pro 16. Yes. And you're thinking, what? It's only got two ports. Yes, it only does have two ports, but I'm connected to this hub, right? And even though this only has two ports right here, we're talking about two separate ports. These are two individual ports. If you go to a MacBook Pro 16, it has two on either side, but the two on either side are sharing one Thunderbolt controller. So you've got one Thunderbolt controller here, one here, and the two on either side are sharing the same bandwidth, the same connection, okay? so. This is not really two Thunderbolts on the Mac, even though it is technically, but it's only one controller, so it's shared bandwidth. This thing here, these are two individual ports. That blew me away. If I go to my iMac, you'll see it has two Thunderbolt ports, but it's actually only got one Thunderbolt controller and two ports are running off that one controller, so they're sharing the bandwidth. So essentially what I'm saying here, and what's magical about this is, it has two you know, individual ports, not connected to one controller, two separate individual Thunderbolt ports or USB 4. So that means when I plug this in, this hub here, Thunderbolt 4, one of the good things about Thunderbolt 4 is you can get hubs, but the good thing about Macs is, you know, Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3 are exactly the same thing. The only difference between Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 4 was thought to be that you can hub and you can wake up and etc. But the reality is Thunderbolt 4 is just Thunderbolt 3 with every implemented feature that Thunderbolt 3 has. That's all it is. And that's because Apple gave you every feature. Whereas it come to PCs, there were so many different features that they were leaving out that didn't have on by default. And so all Thunderbolts were different. In fact, these work on Thunderbolt 3 Max. Doesn't work on, you know, a laptop I've got here, Thunderbolt 3 PC. That's because it doesn't have all the features of Thunderbolt 3. So they've, you know, sort of nerfed it. So essentially now when I connect this Thunderbolt 4 to this device here, it is one, it's charging 60 watts. And on M1 Max, even M2, I think 60 watts is going to be enough. So it is charging this thing. But now it actually has more ports than the MacBook Pro 16. Because, you know, you connect it to one port, I've got another three Thunderbolt ports now. Of course, they are sharing the bandwidth. But remember, the MacBook Pro 16... Two ports are sharing one controller anyway. So this is just like three sharing one controller. And then I have one separate, separate. So it's not gonna affect the bandwidth, okay? So essentially if I connected a heap to this, so a monitor and maybe, you know, just maxed out the bandwidth of this, right? And then I went to the other port, it would slow down. But for this, it's not gonna do that because it's a completely separate port. So, you know, this is gonna happen on my iMac, my 27 inch iMac. That thing up there, they're sharing one Thunderbolt controller, two ports. It doesn't matter what I do. This is going to have more bandwidth than that iMac, that desktop iMac. 
no jokes all right it doesn't have the display lanes and that i don't know what's going on with the you know display it's only one display it can do and if you get the macbook air or macbook pro these are sort of like entry level it beats that iMac desktop. It has more bandwidth. You can connect more stuff and you're not going to suffer the pain of having too many, you know, things connected like maybe a few displays, a few storage controllers, some, you know, yeah, USB interfaces, etc. That will eventually choke one port. But this one here has a separate port. So just amazing. Something magical about this. And I would definitely be getting one of these hubs here. Um, these are amazing. You can actually get the dock version of this where essentially it is a hub like this, but they've got added dock features on there as well, like Ethernet and I think SD card reader, etc. But yeah, man, did you actually know that they were two separate ports? That, that sort of blew me away. And then I looked at the iMac and I started crying because it only had one port shared with two Thunderbolts. It's like... M1 for the win there. More bandwidth than that sucker. So anyway... Catch you next one, guys. Tally ho.